Welcome back to uh, TCG. Um, I'm Elise Nibelin, and this is Evan Hughes. Hey. <laughs> um, so, Evan, you are a comedian, right? Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, how did you get, in, get to do a lot? Okay. okay. Uh, the way I got into comedy. What are you interested in comedy? Well, I met this girl at a bar, <laughs> and, yeah, and I was talking to her, and she was wanting to do stand up. Oh. But she was kind of hesitant to actually, you know, follow through and do it. Mm-hmm. So, um, they were offering me classes at the comedy club where you could go and um, kind of learn, stand up to some, you know, tips and whatever things can help you, help you along. Nice. And if you wanted to do that, because her sister was uh, doing stand up locally. Mm-hmm. And then, um, but she just wasn't sure about doing it by herself and that kind of thing. So I was like, I'll do it and do it. So I ended up in this class and, um, I didn't really, uh, I wasn't doing too well in it until kind of towards the tail end of it where I, you know, just stopped caring. <laughs> and that was when I got better. Okay. And um, after the first fall, I didn't really want to do it again. It was just kind of like, I did it, you know, you kind of jumped out of the plane and I'm like, hey, I did it, you know. But her sister was uh, booking a show at a bar and then she asked me to go do her bar show. And I was like, oh man, you know, do another, <laughs> do another <laughs> one. Like, I escaped the first one already. But, uh, out of the way. Yeah, I was like, oh, I agreed to it because it was like a month and a half away. And because it was there, and I was like, all right, I'll do one more. But it was like a month and a half away, so it gave me some time to really, like, kind of reflect and um, write jokes and stuff like that. And that, that show went even better than the first one had gone. Mm-hmm. And some of the other locals that were already established or in Tulsa were on that show. And just kind of the way the crowd um, took to me, kind of the response of the crowd and the reaction of the local comics when I got off stage uh, was when that was when I realized I wanted to do it. Like, this is what I want to do. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, how do you go about doing comedy for comedy? Well, um, it's tough to do comedy full time in Tulsa. Mm-hmm. You know, there's not not a lot of money mm-hmm. to be made in Tulsa. Tulsa is a, a really a wonderful place. It's a really great place to get good. You know, eventually you're going to have to leave if you really want to make significant money. Mm-hmm. But I love being in Tulsa, and I'm less than two years in, so I'm still doing good. I'm still here. And if you uh, go outside um, to Stateville and uh, the surrounding um, uh, states as well? Yeah, Missouri, Arkansas, stuff that's within like a couple hours. I've done quite a few shows at Stateville, Joplin, Missouri. Um, yeah, just, if it's not too crazy far, you know, I'm okay with me. I'll go do it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, could you take me real quick through your process? Like, how do you prepare for a show? Um, well, I pretty much, um, I have, you know, quite a few jokes that I've, I've written. Um, you just kind of put together a set list similar to what a band would have, like if they were doing for doing a show, and they would have, like, okay, we're going to do, you know, Jump and Jack Flash and Brown Sugar, and that's kind of how mine works, too. Although it can change, you know, you could plan to do um, one set of jokes and then get up there and they're not really taking to the ones that mm-hmm. you thought were going to go over so you just change it in the middle of it or you just decide to change it in the middle of it anyway or you forgot your set list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it happened to So a lot of it goes with reading the crowd. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll find that out. That's something that you don't really have to tell comics. Like they'll, they'll learn it one way or the other. They'll get up there and be like, oh, <laughs> you know, I should have read this crowd. You know. Cool. Um, do you have any shows coming up that we can look out for? Yeah, uh, this, this Friday I'll be in Arkansas, which you guys probably won't go to Arkansas. <laughs> so, um, me then, uh, Wednesday, not Wednesday, like tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to reveal when this is being taped or whatever, but Wednesday, the 17th. Uh-huh. Um, seven days, the moon then, um, 60, what is that, 
6 to 8 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, you can go see me there. Awesome. And then, yeah, a bunch of other shows, 20 times at the Hunt Club. There's a bunch of them. I like to like get my phone back. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing with us your work. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks.